What's going on, friends and fans? Ryan Dorn here, your friendly neighborhood sales coach. If you enjoy the sales training tips each week, subscribe to the YouTube channel below and click that little bell button, and that will alert you when we add new training tips. All right, sales tip for this week, we're focusing based on your suggestions on objection handling. And what's interesting is the number of salespeople that want to sort of fight, if you will, when handling objections and kind of our go-to strategy is data and facts. Well, if you take my advice and you listen to the podcast and things every month, you'll know that we are dealing with a lot of people out there that are emotionally charged up. As a matter of fact, every Friday, I can look over here, as of last Friday, 72% of the people that we're encountering over the last two weeks have been emotionally making a lot of decisions. My sales reps report back to me, lots of emotional people out there. So handling objections with facts and stats is sort of like trying to take the keys away using logic from somebody that's had too much to drink. The more you argue with them, the more logic you give them, typically the angrier that we get and they they get and we don't want that. So the fastest way for me to handle objections is to use a success story and to use that good old, I think it was Zig Ziglar strategy of feel, felt, found, or we'll give him the credit for it if that wasn't who it was. Maybe it was Carnegie. I understand how you feel. So-and-so client felt the exact same way. And this is what they found out after working with us. So it's not that data doesn't work. You just have to be in front of the right person. If you're dealing with somebody that's emotionally charged up, normally data and facts are not going to win them over. It sort of seems a little bit like you're fighting or, or trying to be smarter than them. Go back to that good old old school feel felt found and use a success story. Handling success, handling objections with success stories means you got to also know your clients, know who it is that you've worked with, who you've helped with. And friends, in the end, success stories are almost always remembered more than stats and facts. If you already know it, put it into action. If you didn't know that, put it into action. Just remember, friends, if sales was easy, everybody be doing it. And they're not. We're the chosen few. This is a great career, friends. It'll feed your family for a lifetime. All right, we'll see you next week.